and welcome to my channel. Welcome to today's, um, where are we? Sucks for you that way around, even. You'll have to excuse me. I'm, um, I'm actually feeling a little bit kind of under the weather and uh, I, with COVID in the office, it's a big concern. I did a rat yesterday, which was negative, but I'm jaded and I'm not sleeping properly because I've been taking med Sudafed too late at night. So I think it's keeping me awake or waking me up and then I'm not able to go to sleep again. I don't know. Life. Hey, um, I digress and who needs to know that kind of stuff anyway, but if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I'm not always this flat. Uh, so yeah, please stick around. I am doing these videos daily while we've got these 12 days of Christmas, pre-Christmas. And um, yeah, come along and see what I've got and have a look at some of my projects or whatever. Um, they're all on the playlist, so go check them out. All right, um, I thought I'd show you some older stuff that I'm doing and I'm way behind on this. I haven't actually pulled it out. It does actually stitch very, very fast though. This is the goth stitch, I think it is, um, bookshelf in a nutshell. And um, it's the temperature bookshelf. So yeah, look at those temperatures. They're all the same old, same old. <laughs> There's not much variation in them at all. I need to do the back stitching on May and June. So they're the, the last two. I've got my voids, which are my black cats. So this is in memory of my black cats. So Godric and that one down there would be um, Astrophy. I could have added so many more, but I decided just to stick with the two. Um, so yeah, there is my um, alphabet thingamajiggy, not alphabet, temperature blanket, temperature bookshelf even. Yeah, see, my brain is so not with it. Um, it's on Gilded by Bee Stitch Me, I think. I think it's Gilded. It's gorgeous. Anyway, it's an opal Lugana and I'm loving stitching on it. And like I say, it stitches really, really fast. Now the other fun stitch that I did recently um, if you've been following me, you will have seen this. This started off as tits are cool kind of thing. The stiatch along, mother bitches. So yeah, it's all kinds of sassy, inappropriate and everything else. So we had all this top bit and it was like um, tits, cool tacos and none of it made any sense. And then uh, Emma dropped the final bit and it turned into if at first you don't succeed somebody did actually guess this on the first week um good on them because it was just like lots of gaps and holes and you couldn't really tell spacing or anything else it was just brilliant um and then the last drop was the finish just below this little border here halfway through so this finish is one that I've come up with myself um I'm a Doctor Who fan and I decided I would Go with Doctor Who. The colours are from uh, the TARDIS from the nerdy cross stitch group that I'm part of. They did a nerd um, mystery sal. It was just the four letters. So there was the N, the E was uh, Pac Man, the R is Mario, and the D was Pokemon. But when I saw the TARDIS, it was like, hell yeah. So yeah, I've used the colours from that. I've improvised the outer edges because we didn't have the bottom and we didn't have the sides. So um, yeah, something a little bit different. And you were fantastic. Are the um, is the line from um, Chris Eccleston when he was finished. Um, and yes, it's all kinds of cool. This was a stitch that we needed to be part of as a team collaboration and we just had to backstitch those so they pieced them all together and um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Steoch, if you want to check it out, S-T-E-O-C-H, Steoch, it's all kinds of sassy, they do all kinds of meetups around wherever. Um, there's virtual meetups and everything else. Um, we get t-shirts each year. There's amnesties. I started it and that's actually what got me back into cross-stitching. I joined it because of Rachel 
um, and they were doing a collaboration then on the Golden Girls. And as soon as I realized it was the Golden Girls, it was like, yeah, yeah, pass and stopped stitching. But I did a couple of the competitions, which were stitch, a stitch of 50 by 50, no, a 15 by 15 square panel design it yourself or something. So I did a heart with a paw in it. Um, but then we did house the year after that and it was phenomenal. Emma can design a face to actually be recognizable as a face on your phone. It was just fantastic. But the camaraderie and the sassy and the fun and everything else was just brilliant. So I'm part of Sips and, and Stitches, which is a bunch of us, Michelle Bendy Stitchy, Jesse Guy, um, Rachel amongst the ones that you would probably know. And there may be more that do YouTube, but I don't, I'm not fully across everyone, but yeah, we, um, just get together and stitch and have some fun. So yeah, you're ready for a recap. Uh, just trying to see where the threads are. There we go. Okay. So day one, we had the variegated yarn. Uh, day two, we had the bobbin, the little wooden bobbin with the oh gosh, birds with the ribbon. Day three, we no day three. What did we have on day three? Uh, maybe we had the stitch markers. Maybe we we did have the um, needle minders. Sorry. Uh, day four. We had the Biscornu pattern and spoilers because the colors are mentioned in the back of the pattern. So these all coordinate and you also got the pin and two buttons to pull in the Biscornu. Day five, we got a scissor fob. Not quite color coordinated, but not too far off either. Day six, we got something that I wasn't expecting because I couldn't identify what it was from feeling the package. And it was three flosses, more spoilers, because these are named on the pattern. Um, and then day seven, because I can't hold any more of those together. Day seven, we got this gorgeous scissors with all the birds and the flowers and everything else on it. And it's just beautiful. Day eight is this. So on the basis that this was day four and it's the same size i'm thinking this is also some kind of pattern but there is something squishy in there as well so the something squishy i think is another piece of floss so let's get in and see i was right is it one is it two Ooh. Okay, it's two. Okay, interesting. Um, how do I get in? Oh, ooh, ooh. These colors are for this chart. These are not colors for something else. Okay, that's interesting. We don't get a full hank of one. No, oh, hang on. No. All right, we'll fill in the gaps in a second. This is the garden mandala. This is the pattern. Isn't that gorgeous? And the floss yarn that we get, the silk that we get even, is number five. Uh, it doesn't say what it's called, but it's a purple and green, which fits in with this pattern. But then we've also got this, which is a kind of greeny gold. But the pattern itself is, okay, so that's the front card. And then there's the pattern and it's saying silk number five and silk number four and zero is PR one, two, two. So silk number five, silk number four is, because these are all numbered. 
that's three one is this one gold no that's number two good lord number four so it's the purple so number four number five and then pr122 so pr122 maybe this green i'd have to go back through my collection and see if i've got it i may not um okay Oh yes, uh, the exclusive color and a small amount of PR122. So this is PR122, a small amount of PR122 is included. Okay, um, so the new color that we get is number five, which is a variegated silk. But what it's called on this pattern, oh, that would be why it's not on this. Because this one just says number one, number two, number three, number four, number seven, number eight. That's number five is that being treated as a number six or does that mean that we've got a number six a number seven and a number eight to discover in the end spoilers okay guess what this is <laughs> this is squishy but there seems to be more of it um it's not quite a 45 meter hank it could be a 15 they're slightly chunkier than these little dudes um, or it could be two or three or four or whatever. So tomorrow we get to open number nine and we get to see what's in there. And from here on in, the packages get bigger. So nine is this size. Christmas Day is a big, I feel like it's a hang. This is 11. So Christmas Eve and again it's chunky that could be a 45 meter squashed up and this then is number 10 and it's also soft so they're really going all out on the silks I think from here on so stick around for those over the next few days and um, yeah I'll get to show you more um tomorrow I think the project that I will show you is over there it's a project that has been worked on uh, on and off, really, <laughs> I guess. Um, but it is themed. Um, it is a prologue in six chapters. And if you've been watching my channel, you may already know what it is. So stick around if you want to see what that might be. Um, and I hope you enjoy seeing that it's it's huge and I really need to crack on and finish it um maybe I'll finish it this I was going to say summer summer winter anyway midway through the year we have an event that it's appropriately for so uh, yes stick around and um you get to see that tomorrow all right um her nibs has gone out with her dad um to go and get me um some rats they are the um, home testing for COVID. Um, I did one last night, it was negative, but that was our last one. So going to just restock on those while we still can. And um, I think he's looking at getting Christmas dinner. So he's going to smoke a lamb because we're looking at 26 degrees on Christmas day, which is going to be stinking hot. So it's going to be ice cream, smoked lamb and some salads. And I need to get my head around the shopping list for that. So yeah. Um, there you have it, I think. All right, I'll let you go. I will see you guys tomorrow and um, wish you all the best. And I'm enjoying days off. <laughs> I just want to sleep. <laughs> I was awake from one till mm, three ish, three thirty ish this morning. So, yeah, I just want to sleep and feel like I've actually slept. All right, I'll let you go. Bye for now. I'll see you soon. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand.